All right, you've just put all the parts um, designed together, and now it's time to assemble all the parts. So you've done your hard work. Now it's all about putting the pieces of the puzzle together. So you're going to click on assembly, and we're going to bring in some parts. And so we want one back end. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to right click, kind of back out a little bit so I have more space to put all the parts. We want to bring in two connectors, so I'm going to just click connector, I'm going to click it again, then right click and hit OK. I'm going to place, um, let's see, we need the front, right click OK. Uh, now if you don't have place, one thing you can do, hit this down arrow, and you probably have it now, so place, and I want the passenger base. Or, I'm sorry, passenger section. There that is. Right click OK. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, make sure you get the right one. Let's delete. Delete that one. See, I'm not following my own directions. I only like saving things once. Apparently I did one bad one. Okay, what else do I need? Windshield, so there's my windshield with my initials. Right click OK. And then I need four wheels from my wheel assembly. There they are. So I'm going to put these up here. One, two, three, four. And that's going to be like the last thing I do. All right. So, I'm going to just uh, build everything on around this. So I'm going to right click and hit the ground, or grounded. That will put a thumbtack on it, so that means it won't move, everything else will move towards it. So let's constrain, and we're going to use this one right here, the mate tool. And I want to constrain on the back side, I want to constrain this part. And don't forget to hit apply. All right, so that put it on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And hit apply. Now they're not quite lining up correctly. So I want to check my measurements. So I'm going to I'm going to go to my connector, I'm going to right click and go to open. All right, so in our notes, um, we drew it one way, and then we just took some notes off the board, and so we need to change some things. So I'm going to right-click, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit the plus sign, check my measurements on my first sketch, and this sh should be 2.38, and it is not. And then this should also be um, 0.92. And I'll finish this sketch. And I want to change the extrusion. So I'm going to hit Extrusion and Edit Feature. And we're at, we want that at 0 0.6. So there's that. And our fillets we want at 0 0.2. So mine are good. Hopefully yours are too. Now I want to spin it around I want to check this. Yeah, this is a lot smaller than what we uh, need. Um, so, for mine, I want to click on my Extrusion 3, and I can tell because it's that red highlighted one's the one I want to change. So I want to right click on Sketch 3, edit the sketch. All right, so the first thing I want to do, and this is on our uh, notes. Uh, I drew it in green up on the board and so our first one of the things I'll, I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this constraint um, I'm going to change let's see what do I want to change this to I want to change that to 0 0.01 so that's going to be really close I want to change this to 0.9 so that's really close um, 
Let's see. Let's change this to 0 0.04. And it looks like I need to add a dimension for this blue line. We want that to be 2.3. Let's zoom back. Let's see. I think that's everything. Finish the sketch. That looks pretty darn good, but we need to change our fillets. So I'm going to right click on it, hit edit feature, and change that to 0.2. All right. That looks perfect. Save it. Go to our assembly. And now, if I move this around, that sure looks like it'll fit pretty well. All right, so let's constrain. I'm going to click on this side and there. Go ahead and hit apply. And I'm going to kind of drag it out. OK, so this will drag up. So I want this to then go on on there hit apply and now when I try and move that one that is fully constrained on there we're gonna do the same thing to the back so I've already constrained it once um, you can tell because I've got one mate and, and the blue and the green match up or that's where I've already constrained it so now I'll go ahead and click one side hit apply drag it away so we know where it is and and then I'm gonna click the top side and we can just put it on the bottom because um, or or not <laughs> just kidding um, Let's click on the top and we'll line it up with the top. Here we go, hit apply. Okie dokie. Now the best thing to do now is just save your work. You've done about five minutes, time to save it. So, toy, car, and your initials.